All right, uh, I wanted to do a video here on all of the error codes. Um, so when you power it up, it, it gives you a blank screen. It doesn't do anything at all. Um, and if I do a, a, a reset, it tests the RAM, and then it says all Cal, Cal all required, testing hardware. Then it throws an error code. So you go error, and it says you've got a 202. And that's the one that I've always had. Um, thanks to um, viewers who told me that there are other ones. If you hit error again, it it has a series of calibration or, uh, errors. I did find that in the manual eventually. Um, but now it's got a, a 110 also in there, so it's got multiple ones. So you can keep reading them out until they're until they're all out. So it says 110, it says calibration required, do a cal, okay, fine. And then if we do it again, it says zero. So we're at the end of the zero list, at the uh, end of the, of the error list, okay? All right, so it says that we need a cal. Uh, let's see here, we can do a uh, auto cal here. If we do an auto cal, uh, we'll do an auto cal for DC volts, okay? Hit enter. And it throws a code immediately. Error. We get that error. We get a 205 this time. 205 says cal value out of range 61. I haven't looked into that yet. Another error gets thrown. 210. Failure. Calibration required. Error. 101. Calibration error and no errors. Okay, okay, fine. Then I'll do. I'm going to do an auto cal again. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, let's do all. That was fast. Sometimes it actually will do stuff. Let's do it again. There we go. So now it's actually doing something. It's doing a, a, a 10 volt cal, and it's throwing an error there. Now if we go to the error log, we'll get a 205, cal value out of range, another error, 209, 209, hardware failure, timeout, unable to read the A to D, 61. Error to 10. Hardware failure. Calibration required. Error 101. Calibration error. 114. This is the scary one. 114. System error. Balanced. Rundown, Convergence, and I think that's the deadly code. Comment below if you are 100% sure <laughs> that my, uh, what is it, uh, U180, uh, that custom fancy chip, is dead. But I think that, I think that message says that, yeah, I've got a dead a dead machine, and the only way to fix this machine would be to send it back to Keysight to have it fixed, or magically find another board to swap in that had a good one, which is very, very unlikely. And I have zero, well, I, don't, I have a few dollars into it so far. I did buy some uh, comparators, so I'm out about 20 bucks for those. And uh, I did buy some another comparators, the uh, SO16 versions. Uh, and I built a little uh, piggyback card. I did that just for anybody trying to resurrect these things. I just thought it would be a good thing for the community to have access to a board like that. Um, and so I'll at least go down uh, that rabbit hole for a ways and make sure that that board works and it's available for everyone to use. But I think my machine is a dead, dead, dead. And uh, let's do one more. No more errors. 
Um, so yeah, there you go. Comment below if you think this is a lost cause.